This is how the earth has taken man through its various stages, from the mineral, through the plant, through the animal, and through the human. Now, the human being has f four brains. We have the cerebrum. We have the cerebellum. In fact, I have a chart here that I would like to show you. And uh, here we have the cerebrum, which is two, two hemispheres. You see? There they are. And here below in the green, this is the cerebellum. This here is this bulb here at the top of the, the spinal cord. That's called the medulla oblongata. This is also the third brain. So we have one brain, two brains, three brains, and then this solar plexus, very powerful plexus, the, the biggest of the seven plexuses along the spinal cord. This one has 12 nerve endings. Here we have 12, 12 cranial nerves, and here we have 12 nerves in the solar plexus. And the body is made of 12 systems, the skeletal system, the muscular system, the respiratory system, etc. Now, now Santos, Santos, let me interrupt yeah. you for a second. Now, this is all science as well, right? what we know of science, that these 12 uh, systems and 12 uh, nerves around the, the stomach area, where how you said, that's all, uh, we can say that that's proven scientifically, is not? Oh, oh, you'll find all of this information okay. in Sante's um, um, anatomy or okay. um, Gray's anatomy. So we can find... So there's no, no room for someone to say, oh, well, that's Santos' uh, interpretation of the body. This you can find in science books, correct? Yeah, okay. yeah sure. Okay. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. So, but what occult science teaches is this. You see, consensus science teaches that this is the subconscious, you see, and the conscious is here. But it's the other way around. This is the superconsciousness. This is the subconscious. Now, what I'm going to explain today is how the difference between these two brains. You see, this one here is all about feeling. This is your gut feeling. So this is sensation and feeling. It's a different kind of brain. It's a very animal brain. Right? And, and this one here, this the medulla oblongata, um, takes care of all your involuntary functions like breathing, your heartbeat, and all of those things. So this brain is, is keeping that all happening so you don't have to think about it. But it's these two brains that in occult science grab our attention. Because when you know, when you know the zodiac and astrology, you know that the body is divided into 12 parts. Aries, it is the first sign in astrology, and it corresponds with the cerebrum. Taurus is also in the head, and it corresponds with the cerebellum. And then Gemini starts here at the top of the torso with the two arms, the twins, Pollux and Castor. Then Cancer is the chest, Leo is the heart, etc., all the way down to Pisces, the two feet. Now... Aries, see, I'm going, to be, I'm going to be referring to the Bible a lot here because I've exposed what the Bible really is. It's, it's a book about biochemistry, physiology, and the regeneration of the, phys the physiological part and the spiritual of the human being. You see, it's a, it's a textbook. It's a manual for regeneration. In fact, we can regen. It's the elixir of life, and and by following its precepts, by following the Bible carefully, we can actually regenerate our lives, and that's what salvation 